my um, Google Drive and I'm going to click on uh, uh, the app, app menu over here. I'm going to scroll down to uh, SketchUp for Schools and click on that and it's going to load. Um, if, if, uh, if you're on your Chromebook and you don't have a, a very fast internet connection or sometimes if you do but it seems to be taking a long time, I, that can be the case. Um, uh, I'm going to make a new document here. Uh, feet and inches, and we're going to give this a name, and I'm going to make a, well, this is just my uh, SketchUp Basics. I'm going to go through some of the tools and how some of this stuff works. Uh, give it this name, and we've got to give it a place to go to, go to and uh, save to in Google Drive. They, they give us, in these templates, they start off with a, a person standing here um, to try to give you an idea of the scale that we're at. Um, one of the things you should know is you can um, sc scroll up and down if you're connecting with a mouse, um, and you can use the mouse wheel uh, to zoom in and out on, the, um, on your mouse to zoom in and out of the menu, uh, uh, the, your, your, your view here. Now, one of the things that we run into sometimes when, with uh, students on... Um, Chromebooks is uh, using the trackpad to zoom in and out because what uh, sometimes I catch uh, six, my sixth graders doing anyway is they want to use the, uh, uh, the pinch um, uh, gesture on the uh, trackpad. And the pinch gesture will sort of like zoom stuff in. Let me see if I can make it do uh, the zoom thing that we end up doing. No, it's not going to do it that way. But what happens is, is that when you're using the pinch is we get this kind of a thing happening or we get this and stuff ends up really small or we zoom in on stuff um, um, and so we, we end up you know zooming in on something and then we lose our menus and stuff and then the, the fix for that is to go up to the menu here and, and try to stay at a you know reset your zoom to 100 percent so you can't uh, you can't use the pinch uh, like you might on other websites to zoom on this um, uh, you're going to use a scroll wheel. Well, what happens on a regular web page when you're using a scroll wheel? Scroll wheel makes your web page scroll up and down on a regular web page. So, uh, what's the um, what's the way you scroll up and down using the trackpad? It's usually you use a two fingers and you use your two fingers to scroll uh, to to move up and down on the trackpad um, on a regular web page to to scroll up and down. And so that's how you're going to zoom in and out is a two finger. Um, scroll on your trackpad and that's what, what's going to get you to uh, zoom in and out here okay and that's one of the things that you're going to need to watch out for highly recommended you use a mouse if you have a mouse uh, we got uh, we got this we can uh, sc scroll in and out this is actually a sprite he's a two-dimensional guide I'm going to go down here to one of the things we want to be able to do is orbit around and um, here's the orbit tool okay and I can click on this and then click and drag you can see I can you see the axis moving this with these lines are these lines are axis um, three-dimensionally okay and so this is if you remember doing coordinate system in um, math class it's the same kind of thing only we instead of having just X and Y we have X Y and Z and um, you never thought you would use uh, the coordinate system in um, uh, for math class in your lives but this is something that people using CAD use all the time so uh, these are the axes for the coordinate system. It's a really good idea to build everything that you're going to be doing to start at the origin here at the intersection just to keep things uh, organized and easy to find. Um, this, this, this sprite is always, no matter how I orbit around, he's always looking at me. It's sort of a little scary, isn't it? But um, um, that is not a, two, it's not a 3D object. It is a 2D object. And we can, uh, you know, you don't need him in there. We just want an idea for the scale that we're at. I'm just going to click, uh, right click over here and um, click on erase and he'll be gone okay and um, so now we've got some tools over here on the left we've got a search tool here so I can search for a rectangle okay so there's rectangle one of the things that you can do there's a couple of different options for rectangle tools here we have an R uh, right next to it and this is a hotkey if I just uh, if I exit out of this and I hit the R key R for rectangle. Now I'm using the rectangle tool. Um, if I do C for circle, now I've got this circle tool selected and I can make a circle. Um, L tool for the line tool with the, the pencil. And there's a couple different options for lines, but that's just the straight line tool. So these hotkeys, you're going to hear me say 
O for orbit, P for push pull. Um, and you're going to hear me say these things, and, and eventually I'll stop saying them after you start learning them. But it, it just makes things go a lot faster if you can learn what the hotkeys are for some of this stuff. Um, and, uh, and, and then your, your, your work in SketchUp will go a lot faster if I, if I know. R for rectangle. Okay. So um, we're going to start with a rectangle tool, and I, I'm going to click right at the origin, and I'm going to click, and we can, there's some people that do this differently. We can click and drag and let go. Um, or, and I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, undo, there's an undo arrow down here. I can click and let go, drag, and then click and let go. Um, and, and either way is, is valid, either way is fine. Um, and this is now just a, a rectangle. I don't think it's quite square, but notice it's not three-dimensional. It's, it's, has, has, uh, uh, two dimensions to it obviously, and, but it, we're, we're missing a, a dimension here. It's basically zero thickness here. So in order to add some thickness to this, I'm going to use the push-pull tool, and that's this guy right over here. And if I just use the P for push-pull, I'm going to go right to that tool. And you see when I hover over this, it's got these blue dots on there. It's, it's selected, so it, it's got a figure here that it will let me um, modify and push up. So I'm going to click and uh, push up, and move the mouse up, and then click again to let go. You could, of course, um, I'm, I'm doing Control uh, Z to undo. You can use a key, key command to do that. Uh, you can click and drag and let go. So either way, a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people like to just click and drag and let go. Or and sometimes I I will do click and let go, move up, and click and let go. Okay. So either way will work for this. Um, one of the things that we focus on a lot early on in my sixth grade class is driving numbers in because it's hard to know how big this is when we're just drawing stuff, okay? And so some of the things I'm going to be doing is going to be saying, hey, make it about this big, and it would be nice if we knew how to uh, put numbers in. So for example, um, I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and, uh, and I'm let go of the mouse, and so now I can, I can just scroll around here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type in 10 inches, comma, 10 inches. And you can see in the lower right corner of the window, uh, right next to where it says dimensions, you see 10, comma, 10. And so I'm typing in those dimensions. And when I hit return, it's made this perfectly square with those dimensions. And uh, for example, I can go to the dimension tool, and I can see I've got these dimensions right there. Okay. So that's, that's uh, you know, the, the driving in these numbers as we build stuff can be really, really nice, okay? Um, same thing when I do push and pull. I'm going to click and let go and then move it up, and I'm going to type in 10 and enter. A mistake, a common mistake people make when, they're, when we're doing push and pull is they want to type 10, comma, 10. But understand when we're doing the rectangle, when I do the rectangle, I'm driving two dimensions. I'm driving the dimension along the red line, red axis, and the green axis. And so I'm typing in two numbers separated by a comma, okay? But when I'm doing the push and pull operation, that's just one dimension. So I only need to type one number. Oop, and it didn't take it. There we go. Now, um, there is, it is also true that you could uh, drag, click and drag and let go. And then before you do anything else, don't touch or change the tools or change your view. If, if, you, click and, if you like to click and drag and then let go of stuff, and it makes us, but I want to type in the size. I can type in the size right now, 10, comma, 10, enter, and it changes it, okay? Same thing with um, push-pull. If I go really tall, but then I type in 10 and enter, it's going to pull it back down. One of them, another mistake that people make is they might do this and then let go, and then, oh, what that's supposed to be 10 tall, and then they click again, and then they type in 10, and now it's too tall, well, I just typed in 10 mystery. What happened here? What happened is when you clicked on that first one, uh, it, it, it started from there and then added 10 onto it. So you got to be a little careful about that. That's not, um, uh, uh, you're not inadvertently adding onto it. For example, if you get into that situation, we can go back. I can put a dimension on this vertical uh, line here. I can go to the push pull tool and come back. So there, now we're 11 inches. There's 10, 10 and a half and 10 inches. So I can I can drive these uh, numbers in with the push-pull tool if we need to. I'm going to use the E for erase, and I can just click on that uh, dimension and get rid of it. Okay, so now I can O for orbit, 
and click and move this guy around, uh, move my view around that is, and I've got my three-dimensional object, okay, and that's different than that sprite we had earlier. Um, yeah, so that's how we make a, just a simple cube. Let's see, another error that we get, sometimes it, that, that is a problem for people, is if I um, get rid of this thing entirely, I'm going to go rectangle, I'm going to start here, and then I'm going to type in, maybe not 10, but I'm going to type in 1, 1, enter, and then they go, oh, Mr. E, it's, uh, it's gone. It just disappeared entirely. My, my rectangle didn't get made. It got made. It's just so small based on our view that you can't see it. So if I zoom in, it's there, okay? So if I zoom, happen to zoom back out so it disappears again, it's too small, then one of the tools that you really ought to know about over here under the orbit menu here is this guy right here. It's called Zoom Extends. And Zoom Extends will automatically put everything you've drawn into view. So I'm, I hit Zoom Extends and now I can see my. So if you type in numbers and it disappears, then maybe hit Zoom Extends before you panic and, and, try, and can't figure out what you're doing. Zoom Extends is also really helpful when we get lost and we can't find where the origin is and Mr. E, help, I, I, you know, this is, this is goofed up. We can just go to Zoom Extents. And it'll take us back to where we're here at the origin and where we're drawing stuff. And, and that's a really helpful uh, to, tool. There's no quick key. There's no hot key for Zoom Extents. You just have to know where that's at um, right under the uh, last menu down here. Okay. Uh, one of the problems we have with Zoom Extents, though, is that it can be a problem if we draw stuff that's too small here and then we draw something else that's out here, then... Um, SketchUp will want to put both those things in view, but then they're too small and too far apart to be seen, and then that can be a problem. And then at that point, you might as well select all and delete or, uh, and, and start over because that's, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, again, zoom extends. P for push-pull. And I've got my cube. Um, this is a good one. So, uh, it, you know, take some time to play around with stuff. So I've got an eraser tool. Um, we'll come back to that one. I got a paint bucket. I can I can use the paint tool. I can click on a color. I can paint a side a color. I can paint another side a different color. Um, I could paint everything, uh, all of it, all one color if you wanted to. I've got a line tool, so now I can I can hit this arrow and get rid of that because you might need screen real estate. I can go for the line tool. And you notice how it's really bold here. Um, but if I come back over here and it wants to see, see it's jumping to snap to and stuff. And when I close up the shape, um, and I don't think, yeah, that's something. So if you have trouble getting it to close up, that could be a problem. If I do, let's do this. Yeah, okay. And this might be a good time to use the eraser tool. I can use the eraser tool to get rid of these guys. And right there, okay. All right, so SketchUp will fill in line work for you a little bit and, and, and add this plane in. If I click out here, um, pause here, I don't know if it's, okay. So part of what's happening, what, what happened when I was drawing that is that uh, it, it, it's making some assumptions based on um, the fact that we're in a 3D world kind of in here, but I'm driving it in information based on a 2D instrument, which is the mouse. And so it's, SketchUp has to use our view to kind of make some assumptions about what it is we're trying to do. So I can get rid of this guy uh, line in between. I can use the push-pull tool. I can push this up. Um, some of the things we can do, we can, I can use the rectangle tool. I can draw a rectangle on this, and I can push up again. Okay, I can use the line tool to um, put a line on there. I can use the push-pull tool to bring this line back down and I take it right down to the edge there and let go and now it's taken that off. See, I can draw stuff in here. I can take a circle and make a, a circle on here and go down and I can make a little hole and we can or you can see the little hole in there. Um, so this is, you get some options about how we can how we can play with things here a little bit. So if I zoom in maybe I can do a rectangle here and then I can push in and I got a little shelter on top of my building there. Okay. Um, so you can play around with this and experiment with different stuff. We've got a lot of different tools.